Hello and welcome to Infinity. In the version 1.9, which is currently at the time of recording in beta, in other words, it's a test version, there are a number of new features. I've done a video showing some of them and here are some more. So, first of all, let's just take the uh, selection there and uh, this has got a new thing here from center so I can go to the center, say this side here and select this area here. And then if I click on mask, it creates a mask which will just mask that area out. Control D because I don't need the selection anymore. And I can edit the mask. So I can either edit like this, I can alt click it and see the actual mask itself. And I can go to filters and use a lot more controls than I could do before. So for example, I can go to distort and say twirl. And I can play around and select this slightly differently and apply that. So I've edited the mask there. So what is selected is controlled by that mask. So I've done that. So what else can I do with this? I can also take this, something like a mask there, go to channels. I think I've got mask alpha here. Let's right click that and create a spare channel, which is where I can store mask uh, and selection patterns. I can now edit this, but if I don't want to edit this one here, I can create a duplicate. So that's something else I can do, create duplicates of spare channels and right click there and say duplicate. And then I can right click and say rename. And let's say edited because it's going to edit it. So I'm going to click this on this and now this comes up here. Now I can do the same sort of things masking. So I can go say filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And I can blur that mask as well and apply that. So that if I go up here, delete the mask, for example, and if I put on, say, curves, and then I got to the edited one there, right click that, load to curves. And now when I adjust this, look, it adjusts this. Something else you may notice here with the curves is down here, X and Y. So that point there is the X and Y, y values. So what this means is that when I'm doing videos, I can say, do the curves like this and just put in those values and you can get the exactly the same curve that I got. You can also, when you're doing curves, you can make notes of it. You can write down what it is. I think this thing's really useful. Okay, so that's another one. So let's delete that. And here's here's one another one. This this is kind of fun, but you can do all sorts of things with it. I'm going to start off, I'm going to be selecting somebody. I'll select this chap here, which is Steve, who's a friend of mine. This was in Zandam in Holland. So I've selected far too much there, so I'll just alt paint away the bits that I don't need. I'm going to do it fairly roughly because I'm just showing you stuff here rather than anything else. Okay, that will do. And what I'll do now then is go into brushes and start myself a new palette here of brushes. So click there and say it's new category. And it just calls it brushes as default. I can rename that. But we're going to do something here. And that is, if we go up to this again here, click there, there's new brush from selection, which is this brush here. So let's control D, we don't need that anymore. Control zero to go back up out again. Go to my just paint brushes and select this one here. Now then, look, it's a brush I can paint Steve in here. And if I paint a line, I get a whole Q of Steve's. Now then what I can also do is if I go to the more here when on the paintbrush I can do the stuff I can space Steve out like that so I paint in a nicely spaced socially distanced Q. I can do things like dynamics, change the jitter which means it's going to be different size jitter, see it's size jitter and vary that say with velocity. So I can now paint this and it changes sides depending on how fast I am going. 
So there you go, there's that brush that you can do. Uh, let's go back to the beginning on that. Get rid of all the steeds. Um, what else can we do? Yes, we can snap to pixel selection. Here's another one. Is if I draw a selection here, and move it say down over here, then I can, if I draw something, I can snap to that. But to make that happen, I've got to go to view and the snapping manager. And there's a new one down here, snap to pixel selection bounds. So I close that so that I've got snapping on up here. So that if I do, say, I put do a rectangle like this, go to the move tool. If I move it here, it will see it snaps onto that line there. If I try to snap here, in the, it's not going to snap that corner where it touches it because it views the selected areas like a rectangle. So I can snap to the bottom, to the left and to the top, but not to other areas in between. So you could imagine that as a rectangle. OK, and what else can we do? Oh, there's one more thing. And that is, if I draw a curve like this, let's say, do a zigzag up and down. Then if I do go to the that artistic text here, click on that. Now, if I move to this, notice here, as I go close to it, the cursor changes to a T. So I click now, I get a green rectangle, a green, sorry, triangle there. I say, hello. That's a bit small there, so I'll just make it bigger. Control shift greater than. There we go. And that's where it is. Now I can move the green rectangle and see it'll follow the text. You know, it'll even go back down the other side. So you can actually write to this something here. I can write, edit that. And it will follow that line. So you can make it follow curves and all sorts of things. Anyway, um, that's a whole bunch of stuff. One last thing um, which I have never used before, just to let you know it's there in case you use it because it's not in the text somewhere, which is if you use guides and you're using margins, this is a corner case, if I go to view guides manager down here, this bit here is new. So if you're doing margins with colour, if you know what these things are, then you might want to know that it's got an extra colour. But I'm not going to demo that because it's such a specialist sort of thing. Anyway, that's it and thank you very much for watching.